Welcome everybody to Outside the Barn, where today we're going to be reviewing a product. And that product is the Laser Pecker 3. Not the Laser Pecker 1, not the Laser Pecker 2, the Laser Pecker 3. Why did I accept this product for a review? I think it you know, really just goes without saying that it is the most compact and exquisite fiber laser pecker. And because of that, I, uh, you know, I mean, with a name like that, who could resist? So let's open it up. So they did, of course, give me the Laser Pecker 3. And also the Laser Pecker Versatile Electric Roller. Of course. What is any of this stuff? I have no idea. But I guess we should find out together. I, I, I honestly, honest to God, I have no clue what this does. Very well packaged. Oh, there's, okay. Oh god, user manual. What it is is an engraving tool. So uh, like, excuse you. I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to like engrave things with the channel's name on it and stuff like that. Oh well, look, it came with a ruler. Well, that's good. That means we're going to have to measure stuff. That means I'm doomed. So it says step one is to assemble it. So I guess let's assemble it, the laser pecker. It says assemble the electric stand. Which looks like this thing, I guess. Everybody knows that, actually. I mean, when it comes to laser peckers, I'm kind of an expert. I don't mean to brag. You know. It comes with a couple little Allens, and, a, and they supply the wrench, which is nice, so you don't got to go digging for that. This thing to, to this thing, and that, and that, you know, is the first step in assembling your laser pecker. You know, I mean, I remember when Laser Pecker 1 came out, and I was like, whoa, that's some revolutionary stuff there. I mean, how could we even improve? But then they came out with Laser Pecker 2. And I was like, wow, I mean, the sequel's even better. And then Laser Pecker 3, I thought, kind of got back to their roots. You know? And now we need to install the laser unit of the Laser Pecker. You might even consider it a the head of it, you know what I mean? Connect to power supply and prepare to adjust height. This actually seems simple, dare I say. Oh, let's see. Power up the Laser Pecker. Wow, God, it's like lasers. It's like a Pink Floyd show. Okay, yeah, so these things are probably blanks for you to try out. No, those are, those are, those are plastic. I just downloaded the Laser Pecker app. I don't really know what to think about this. I... You're supposed to use these little uh, positioning things here to, to uh, you know, pos position it. I may not, I just may not be smart enough to run the laser pecker, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, they got extra things in here. We've got our blank in here. At least I assume that's what that's for. Who knows? These don't really hold it, so I don't know how good of an example that really is. Ruler range it, or range it with dots. And, and I think that was this one. Oh my. Okay, so we move that down until they become one. Uh, yep. Would anybody like to explain to me what the hell 130 M&Ms is? Oh hey, the laser, the dots lined up. Commence pecking, laser pecker. Okay, I think I gotta connect to it with Bluetooth. Oh, yes. Connect to laser pecker. Pin. Pin is zero, 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 by the way. That's not in the instructions. I just guessed that, and it worked. Can we engrave a picture of a truck? I got a picture of the silver dollar. Please select. Yeah, I, I, I did. You can adjust the scale of it. That's kind of cool. Enter size. I don't know how big this thing is. Wear safety goggles before engraving. Hey, goddamn, what is an M&M? &M? Fire it up. Let's do this. Do not engrave on highly reflective mater material metal oxide. No. I think it's plastic. Start. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's counting down. Confirm. Yes, it's totally secure. Wait, what is it doing? What are you doing? Oh god, it's cutting itself. No, stop! I can see how this could be super cool, but how do you know where to put the thing? Well, I'm just gonna let that go ahead and melt itself. When I moved this thing, because it was killing it. 
it's cool. I, I kind of screwed it up. You can see the truck in it. I mean, there's definitely some serious potential for cool stuff here. I think I need to figure out how to center it better. So I just realized, if you hit the targeting button, it'll display the the window that it's working in. Let's see if I can make it work on this knife blade, even though it says do not use on reflective material. So I'm going to guess that thing's stainless steel. I don't know. Depth. More. Just trying to do some simple text here. Yes, it's totally secure. I don't know if it can scratch that knife or not. I'm probably getting radiated or something. I mean, at least it's staying on the object right now. Maybe I'm on the right track here. Look at that. It's actually working. I think I need to up the depth on it or do another couple passes. But I just engraved a knife blade with this thing. That's actually really cool. So that actually worked. But let's crank it up a little bit. Huh? Next. I think we just need to crank the depth up. So I'm thinking, you know, probably all of it. Does that mean it just goes all the way through? Guess we'll find out. Material. Yeah, custom. Sure. No, all of it. I didn't move the knife, so it should be okay. Oh, God, yeah, that's going to take way longer. But it might work. Oh, why didn't I... I should have added more passes to it. That, that probably would have been the right thing to do. This is kind of fun. I think you guys probably picked up on the sarcasm there, but uh, this thing's actually really cool and expensive. But I get it. I get why. And I'm sure as far as one of these machines go, it's probably not a whole lot of money. Uh, it's like 1700 bucks. The knife is probably just a little bit too hard for this thing, which is understandable. It's still cool, and it's, I mean, <laughs> oh wait, if I rub it, oh wow, oh, look at that, I just had to it's, rub like the debris off of it. Well, that's freaking cool. There's also this roller thing, and I think I'll try to roll a, a socket, you know, like do some kind of round engraving with it. That'd be kind of cool to play with, I think. But it's pretty late. We'll do that tomorrow. Ah, all right. Well, I've returned to play with my laser pecker yet again. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with it now. I know I was wanting to work on that socket, but also kind of want to try to etch another one of these blanks that they give you. That'd be super cool to get a, a, an actual picture on, you know what I mean? I just realized something really cool about this. Now, I'm sorry that this is kind of... I don't know, I didn't actually mean for this to be a serious review. But look at this. This is why that plate's removable. So say I like want to put an etching on a car, I could just put this damn thing against the side of a car and hold it there and, and etch the metal of it. Oh man, I can't even think of I don't I can't think of anything I want to do that to right now. That could be super handy. If you have any ideas of what I I, mean, I don't know, put a PBG or something, you know, in something, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I just realized you can crop the images. You know, if I was a good YouTuber, I'd be able to put my phone screen on the uh, computer there, but I'm not that smart. So let's go full blown here. I don't know if that means it's as big as the whole the whole thing or what, but that width and height on there is for how big you want the engraving to be, which makes sense. But I want the engraving to be the whole thing, you know? A mm -hmm. little bit off. All right. There's that. That looks pretty damn cool. But now, the laser pecker comes with this laser pecker hot dog roller thing here that I guess is supposedly will roll things and then etch them. How? I'm not sure, but let's find out. Alright, I got my socket laid out on here and I want to label it PBG 15 sixteenths. Make sure we're ranged correctly. Pretty close. Pretty centered, I think. Let's see, the height of the text, let's go with about 20 M&Ms. So, hey, there's a preview button, I see. So you don't just have to guess. Look, it shows you how wide it's going to be. 
Well, that makes way more sense now. All right, next. Fire! Well, I'm gonna guess we gotta crank you up all the way. Oh. Dude. Oh my God, this thing is incredibly useful. Okay, that is uh, awesome, to say the least. It's on there, too. I had to put these little silicone bands on there to allow it to roll. Uh, but that's freaking cool. Although I'm kind of wondering if that was a 1316s, actually. But you know, forget that for a second. Ugh, awesome. Despite all my doubts, the laser pecker is actually a very cool piece of equipment. Um, it's not particularly cheap, but... I mean, I don't, I can't, I gotta imagine, a, you know, like a name brand on one of these things is probably way more expensive. That's really cool. I, I mean, I, I, you know, I know it's weird. Why am I doing it? But, but it's really cool. Um, anyway, if you want one, look at the link in the description. Otherwise, I guess we'll see you next time whenever I'm testing other random humorously named things that I get offered just because. <laughs> we'll see you next time.